Hey guys, it's me, UMP here, and today I am telling a true cr creepy pasta. Um, so, um, for today's creepy pasta, um, we're gonna do me versus creepy pasta. Um, this is also like kind of life learning, but I mean, I, I mean, the story is true, but some of it isn't a real. But um some of the stuff going on in the story is probably going to be a little bit real but um this is a real meverse story i'm not going to be showing like the page on meverse because there actually is but it ter but um there actually was a real page of it but it's not it's not existing anymore so i'm just gonna have to show my channel page i guess but um anyways um so where should i start oh yeah so, one day, um, I went on Meverse, but, um, on my Wii U, I went on Meverse, and I saw this little story pop up, I decided not to comment on it, because I didn't want to, like, ruin, like, I don't want to, like, ruin the conversation, but, um, so, yeah, here, here, here's where it all started. One day, someone named, um, Jennifer went on her Wii U. And she started, um, she started to go on Meverse, and she asked, who wants to play Minecraft on the Wii with me? Just friend me. So one boy friended her, and, um, so they played Minecraft together. And then, so they all played, and then, for, for a while, and, um, then the boy, the boy that wanted to play asked Jennifer if they, if, if she wants to go to his world, so, um, so there was actually another guy playing on with her, so, yeah, so, um, the boy went ahead and made the world, and then he came back and said the world was ready, but, but Jennifer's friend kept, like, he kept, he kept, like, destroying his signs, because on the Wii U version, you, there's no chat, so you can't type, but, um, you have to talk with signs or, um, books or anything, but, um, yeah, so, anyways, um, the guy kept, like, destroying his signs when he was about to type in something saying the world was ready, and Jennifer barely even noticed it, so it was not really, yeah, so, so apparently, um, the boy that was play that wanted to play with Jennifer was actually a moderator, so he actually decided to kick the guy that was destroying his signs. And then once he placed a sign down, he got kicked by the host, which was Jennifer. Jennifer didn't feel bad at all, and she just decided sooner or later she would um, remove him from his friend list because that's how you play with your friends. So. Anyways, she removed him from her friend list, but before that even happened, um, the guy that wanted to play with Jennifer just kept joining, but she kept kicking him. She kept kicking him over and over and over again. By, by kicking guys, I mean like banning, like, like banned from the game. So then he just kept trying to join every day, but it just, he, they just didn't let him. So... So then, the guy started asking her on Meverse, Are we still friends? Can, can we still play? Um, your little friend kept destroying my signs. So, that's what he said on Meverse. And then, Jennifer replied, I'm removing you from my friend list because you banned my, my one of my best friends. So then, um, so then, so then, the the boy was actually not just one ordinary boy that wants to play Minecraft with friends. Um, what happened was, when she, next time she checked back on Meavers, um for her notifications, she saw it, and it was the boy, and he said, Why do you keep banning me? What did I do? And then, and then, but, you know, on Meavers, it shows your profile picture, which is your me character. So instead, the me character had glowing red eyes, 
And then, so then, once Jennifer was trying to reply a whole bunch of times, she waited like 10 or 15 minutes, but then she heard knocking on her door. She went to go see who it was, but no one was at the door. So then she she decided she, it was time for her to go to bed, and um, she thought maybe some mail, and she said she thought she was gonna open it in the morning. But when but but once she heard the door kick down, she she woke up from her bed, and she decided she was gonna call the police. But whoever was down there was definitely gonna be down there. And probably kill her, but so she decided not to go get the phone. So he decided. So, so she um, found the best place in her room to hide. She so she hid under her bed. She heard her door open, and she so, and she saw fo footsteps walking very slowly. So then, so then, so then the feet stopped about in front of the bed, and then the. And then the feet um, faced forward toward the bed, and and she saw his his arms his arms and hands dangling down like if he were to look under the bed. In fact, he looked under the bed, and Jennifer just couldn't look, and she ran out of her bed. She she realized that the door that was knocked down was actually locked, and she just she just looked behind her, and she 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 was frightened by what she saw. She saw Nine Cat. I'm just kidding. It's not Nine Cat. I'm just trying to cheer you guys up. But now here, here's what real was. The real thing was. It was the same exact profile picture of the me in Meverse. Gl glowing red eyes, but everything else she could see a, a part of his body was just complete blankness it was just all black all she could see was those two freaky glowing red eyes so she got so scared she just ran to the phone but next thing you know when she picked up the phone she was never to be seen ever again that's probably because the whole time it was just nine cat with red eyes and um they just went over to a uh, nine cat world and she stayed there forever eating pop tarts and rainbows but but what well it wasn't nine cat it was just the same exact thing i was just trying to cheer you guys up so you guys don't feel so scared about me verse. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not scared at all, but I'm just telling you about this half true story. Hope you guys enjoyed the creepy pasta. It's just this lesson where you. I'm not telling you you're not supposed to ban people a whole bunch. Um, I'm just saying um, that. Um, like, I mean, this has nothing to do with what happened in the story, but. If you are on Meverse, just just be. I know this has nothing to do with the video, but um, just be careful on Meverse. Don't even like give out any personal information. Of course, this didn't happen in the creepy pasta. I'm just saying because I don't want you guys to have red glowing eyes in your face, just staring, just staring.